In this video, we're going to teach you 12 must know measure words in Chinese. Measure words are a core aspect of Chinese grammar. They are a way to count nouns in Chinese. For example, three bottles of beer or one loaf of bread. English has them too. Bottles, loaves. But Mandarin has way more. But don't worry because knowing just a handful of them is enough. We've structured this scritter deck like this. The first section teaches the 12 most common measure words and that's what we'll be teaching in this video. And then in the following sections, we break them up into categories. For example, measure words for animals or fruit and veg. You can choose to just study the first section or continue learning even more and go from the beginner all the way to intermediate. You might even know more measure words than me. Number one. Ge is the king of the measure word and the most generic and multifunctional. It's also used for counting people and things. 一个人, a person. 一个东西, a thing. 一个问题, a problem. Of course, with any of these measure words, if you want to talk about more than one thing, you just add the number in front. 一个人, one person. 两个东西, two things. 三个问题, three problems. It's also great if you forgot the correct measure word or you're unsure what you should use. But let's learn some even better ones. Number two. Zhang. We use this for flat items such as paper. Or piao, tickets. And even flat furniture like beds and tables. A way to remember this one is it's a first tone, which is kind of a flat pitch. So Zhang is for long, <laughs> flat things. Number three, and that is burn. Third tone. So this character depicts a tree with a line across the bottom mm. signifying its roots. If you want to learn more about etymology, check out the character course over here. In Chinese, ben is used for counting books and magazines, which are also made from wood and trees. 一本书, 一本杂志, 一本课本, one textbook. Number four. Bei. This is the measure word for cups and glasses. Mm. The left part of the character has the same wood component, mu, mm. as in ben. Ben. Cups back in the old days were made of wood, so it makes sense to have wood as the building block of this character. 一杯茶, Let's learn a bit about Scritter, which makes all of these videos possible. It uses spaced repetition to optimize your learning, only showing you words you're about to forget. There are hundreds of popular textbooks, thousands of user-made lists, and lots of Scritter videos just like this one. You can practice writing characters, learning tones, customize your study sessions, set daily goals, and track your progress. So keep watching to the end for a special discount code. Number five. If you're in the pub and you fancy a bottle rather than a cup, we can use this next count word, and that is 瓶. Ping. Oh, or if you're feeling fancy, maybe 一瓶香槟, a bottle of champagne. Number six. And that's the measure word for long, narrow, skinny things. 一条裤子. You can imagine skinny, tight pants. Or 一条河. A river. 一条路. A road. And 一条鱼. Number seven, and that is 剑. This is quite a generic measure word and basically means item. It mm. often appears with clothing items. It's less clear which nouns match up with this one, but over time, these measure words become second nature as you learn more words. Mm. Next up is 块, which is a lump or piece of something. The left component is 土, which means dirt. Mm. So 块 originally meant a lump or bit of dirt. Mm. These days, we use it as a colloquial classifier for money. 三块钱, Three dollars or 一块面包, A hunk of bread or 一块蛋糕, A piece of cake. Mm. Number nine, 家, you might know this as the noun for family, family, but it can also act as a measure word for mm. homes and businesses. 一家饭店, 一家酒吧. Number 10. 知. This is written quite differently in simplified and traditional Chinese. In simplified, it shares the same form as only and mm. looks like this. Whereas in traditional, it maintains the bird component on the top with mm. two hands catching it at the bottom which is why this measure word is often used when counting animals. Mm. 两只狗, 
三只猫，四只鸡。There are lots more measure words for animals, so you can learn about that in section three of this scripted deck.、Mm. Number eleven is 量 which has the car component on the left. So we use 量 when counting vehicles. 一辆车，三辆自行车。Since it's a phono-semantic character,、mm. learn more here.、Mm -hmm. The left part provides the meaning, vehicles, and the right part provides the sound. Liang. Number twelve is the measure word, shuang, which is a pair of things. For example, 一双筷子 or 一双鞋子 The simplified character shows a pair of hands. 右右 And the traditional character actually looks very similar. 指指 Which we learned earlier as the measure word for animals. For zhi, it shows one bird being、mm -hmm. caught by a hand, but for shuang, a pair, we're actually catching two birds with our hand. Before we go, here is a top tip. When counting numbers in Chinese, we say 一二三 but in Chinese grammar, when counting things, we use 两 instead of 二 Therefore, when using any of these measure words and wanting to specify only two of something. We use liang and not er because it just sounds hard and weird. Okay, that's it for this brief intro on Chinese measure words. Knowing just these twelve measure words and some basic nouns that match up with them will get you a long way in your Mandarin journey. If you want to learn even more and see some common categories of measure words, continue studying this scripted deck. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share with others. Want to learn even more Chinese? Go check out these videos. Bye bye. Bye bye.